Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the structure of a short story. So let's get started. What is a short story? And what are the elements? It is a brief narrative containing characters, a simple plot, and a conflict which leads to a climax and a swift conclusion. The five elements are characters, setting, conflict, theme, and plot. Let's take a look at characters first. People, animal, things that are involved in the plot of the story. There can be talking animals, fantasy characters, etc. The protagonist is the main character. It is usually the good guy. The antagonist, instead, creates conflict for the main character. It is usually the bad guy. Here we have Nemo. Nemo is a protagonist. Or Cinderella also is a protagonist. But we have the Joker. The Joker was the antagonist and recently we have seen him as a protagonist of a movie. So the setting is the time, the time of day, the season, present, past, future. The location, the country, the planet, the town, the buildings. It helps create the mood and atmosphere of the story. Conflict. The main problem the protagonist is trying to solve. Something troubling or bad that has happened in the story. Conflicts are usually resolved at the end of the story. Zap! Types of conflict. Man versus man. Here pay attention because it is written man, but it can be also woman versus woman. We have few examples like Batman against the Joker, for example, Superman against the antagonist. Man versus nature. Again, here can be woman versus nature. Example, Titanic. So Titanic hit an iceberg. So we have man versus nature. Tornado. The movie Tornado. Man versus himself. For example, in the Joker, he fights against himself to find a solution to his problem. Or the Lion King, for example. Man versus society. So again, here we have the Joker. So as you can see, there can be many uh, types of conflict in one story. Or Robin Hood also. Man versus society. And here I wrote there can be many types of conflict in a story. Theme. What the author wants you to learn or know. A broad idea about life. Usually not stated. It must be guessed. Examples. Be good to everyone. Do not be greedy. Power corrupts. Love takes faith. Etc. Now let's take a look at the plot. The plot consists of five parts. Introduction or exposition is the setting, the background and the characters. The rising action is the conflict, where suspense is created. The climax is the highest point of the story, the deciding factor. In the falling action, the protagonist completes the action. Then the resolution is the final end, the solution of the story. So how does the plot diagram look like? Well, it looks like a mountain. We have the exposition at the beginning, then the rising action, then the climax, you reach the top, then the falling action, and the resolution is the end of the story. So introduction or exposition. This is where you must introduce the setting, so when and where, the background, a set of events created for the plot, preceding and leading up to the plot, the characters, the protagonist or protagonists, antagonists or antagonist, 
is a choice. So racing action. It is a series of significant incidents that produce suspense, interest and tension in a narrative. In literary works, a rising action includes all decisions, characters' flaws and background situations that together create turns and twists, which in turn lead to a climax. So the climax. It is often identified as the highest point of interest in a story. At this point, the conflict is at the highest point of tension. Then we have the fall in action. It happens right after the climax, when the main problem of the story is resolved. The fall in action ends the short story, resolves the unanswered situations, and leads toward the closure. And finally, we have the resolution. It is where the main problem is resolved. The resolution occurs after the fall in action and is typically where the story ends. Well, so that's it for today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, please hit on the like button. If you want to share it, please do. Thank you very much for watching and see you next lesson. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.